<laughs> all right all right all right welcome welcome back late night crypto talk bitcoin brandy here from los angeles california hope you guys have had a great what day is today um tuesday a great tuesday let's see who do we have on the line so far we've got renee hoffman mafoose what's going on mafoose lashana Desiree Potts. Renee, you got a layover from Kona, huh? Angela Jones. Anthony Pinkston. Joseph Thompson. Darnell Abram Jr. Stevie Hicks, Pasadena. Vanita. Nicholas. Welcome, welcome. We will be getting started very shortly. As a disclaimer, I am not a licensed financial advisor to be dispensing financial advice. I read the news, give my opinion, share suggestions, and it is up to you to make an informed decision on which direction that you want to go into. What's going on, Prelvis? There are four rules I live by in the crypto space. Oh, I got Jairus blowing me up. Let me, uh, get on. <laughs> yeah, after my life just started. All right. I see Carlos. I see Lee. Like I said, four rules I live by in the crypto space. Rule number one, education is key. Rule number two, never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Rule number three, always get your return on investment back as fast as possible. And rule number four, where do you see yourself in three months, six months, a year from now? Write it down. What vehicle are you using to make it happen? And most importantly, stay focused and take action. Do not get distracted. There's so many things you could be doing out there. You can't be a part of everything. Now, this isn't going to guarantee you success, but it will minimize your risk. And that's the most we can ask for. All right, so let's... Uh, I only have two articles I wanted to cover. I might cover three since I'm getting started a little bit late tonight. I've got a presentation of 45 minutes to do. Uh, but the first one up is uh, what Michael Novogratz. Is that Michael? Mike Novogratz. Cryptocurrency market cap will hit $800 billion in 12 months. Why is that important? Because the last time it was that high was December 2017, and Bitcoin was at almost $20,000. So 
So Mike is predicting that within the next 12 months, we're going to get back to December 2017 numbers. So let me, let's read and see what he has to say about this. Mike Novogratz, Bitcoin advocate and founder of Galaxy Digital, believes that the cryptocurrency market cap won't reach $800 billion by the end of this year, as he previously predicted. However, the billionaire investor maintains that it will do so within the next 12 months. I don't know about that. I'm, 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 I'm doing my own projections here. I, I don't know. It all depends on what the futures are doing and the ETF that hits us at near the end of this year. That might spike it to get there by the end of the year. Who knows? We'll see. So in an interview with CNBC, Africa's crypto trader at the Beyond Blocks conference in South Korea, Novogratz talked about the difference between the cryptocurrency market in December 2017 and now. I think we've pretty much bottomed. I'm not positive we bottomed, but it feels like we have. But I do think that we are building a nice bottom for the next move up, said Novogratz, adding that he believes that it will be accelerated after the addition of, bet of custody and better regulations. When asked why Novogratz firmly believes in this theory, he explained that cryptocurrency is being adopted gradually. More people are attending crypto conferences and joining crypto related businesses. He also said that many private institutions are entering this market by investing in crypto companies via venture capital funds. In order to attract more institutional investors, Novogratz emphasized the importance of custody once again. Once these investors see important names such as Goldman Sachs, they will be instantly convinced. However, Coinbase Custody and BitGo, despite having a successful future, failed to do this job, in Novogratz's opinion. Now, does institutional fear of missing out exist? It says 100% there is. It's not there yet. There'll be a tipping point, said Novogratz. He added that modern day pension funds will come first, and then all of the others will follow. Novogratz also said that he is a big fan of utility tokens. They are definitely the cooler projects when compared to security tokens. A few months ago, Novogratz said that people will see the cryptocurrency market cap hit $800 billion in December 2018. At that time, some people found it comical since the market was already worth $800 billion. Now, however, the statement makes more sense now that the market cap has dropped to $300 billion within six months. Due to the sudden decline in the crypto market, Novogratz has slightly changed his prediction. He now believes that the value will be lower than $800 billion at the end of this year. However, it will hit the target in 12 months, since custody entering the market will lead to institutional FOMO. Here is why I think it could happen this year. Last year, it only took, what, five or six weeks for Bitcoin to go from like six, seven thousand to nineteen thousand dollars, meaning it went from about three hundred billion, the whole crypto market cap, to a little over almost nine hundred billion in a matter of weeks. It could happen again. And when it does, it's gonna be bigger than before. It always has. History has proven that. Alright, let's see. The last article I wanted to read to tonight due to time is this I think this this caught my attention for those of you that are, are looking to trade crypto and want to learn the difference between bulls and bears and when to buy when to sell this is a look at average trading learn to run with the bulls and uh, I'm sorry learn to run with the bears and ride the bulls so I'm curious I want to see what this guy has to say and based on my own experience, if he if he's making any sense. So let's see here. Cryptocurrency markets are volatile, and people can make a lot of money from the up and down price variances. When digital assets touched all-time highs this past December, a great majority of digital currencies lost more than 70% of their value. Now, some traders were able to call the top while others hodled in hopes of better prices in the future 
and then some traders shorted the markets all the way to the bottom there are a few exchanges that offer leveraged BTC USD futures contracts and other margin positions that allow traders to make decent profits even when markets are extremely bearish in other words when you know what you're doing you can make money when the market's going up and you can make money when the market's going down so when people think about trading cryptocurrencies they think about traders who make money by buying cryptocurrencies at a low entry price and selling it for higher than the original purchase price and because digital assets values usually fluctuate they can wait for markets to drop again and repeat the cycle however there are many other ways to trade virtual currencies and over the past six months of bearish crypto markets, some people have been utilizing leverage and margin trading to turn negative market values into profitable opportunities. All right, let's learn something new. Traders using exchanges like Bitfinex, Kraken, BitMEX, and others could have shorted Bitcoin this year, making a lot of money if they're strong convictions were timed right markets like the crypto winter of 2018 was the perfect landscape for those who wanted to short cryptocurrencies and ride the slopes all the way down so a list of exchanges that offer leverage trading that is something i do not have experience with i don't have experience with leverage trading and people that do that they're they're doing it with a lot of money so BitMEX, Bitfinex, Kraken, Poloniex, eToro, OKCoin, Huobi Pro, SimpleFX, OneBroker, Whale Club, and Coinbase Pro are all offer leverage trading. Here's why. Look at this. Start with small 5 to 10K positions. How many of you guys got $5,000 to $10,000 that you're going to trade with? and improve your trading skills before venturing to extremely risky 100 times positions. There you go, Mafus. Yeah, Matt, Matt Sheriff's got more experience on leverage trading than I do. I have other, uh, I learned other skills in leverage trading. Anyways. If you predicted the tides were going to turn after BTC touched $19,600 per coin on global exchanges, then you should have opened some short positions. That means you believe the BTC USD exchange rate was going to drop during after that period of time. So what you can do next time this happens is choose an exchange like BitMEX, Kraken, and others to open a short contract within the exchanges margin section. If you are new to leverage and margin trading, then you should start off by using as little as five to 10 times leverage to get used to these types of market plays. Exchanges like BitMEX offer 100 times leverage, which you should only use if your margin trading skills are extremely accurate. Moreover, the BitMEX exchange offers an exact replica of its website that accepts testnet coins so people can learn to trade with leverage without actually using real funds it's called mirror trading opening a simple short or long position with 10x leverage to begin first open a short position on an exchange that offers this type of trading and set up a margin sell order with a specified amount order type and type if you have strong conviction the btc usd exchange rate will fall and you have 10 BTC worth of equity, we're talking about $82,000, then you can choose a 10 time or less short position. Again, look at the numbers we're talking here. This is not for the little guys. 10 times we're talking, 82 grand. And this is just testing it out. So, you can choose a 10 times or less short position, which gives you futures contract worth 100 BTC, $820,000. Essentially, if the spot price of BTC drops by 1%, the overall 100 BTC value drops 1% as well. You can continue to gather profit until it drops 10% and pull out a fraction of your profit early as well. 
Or another way to look at leverage trading is you can also purchase one BTC, $8,200 for 0.1 BTC, $820, and short the price as BTC's value slides. The absolute most you can lose with this type of trade is your original margin of $776 plus leverage fees. The same applies for traders going long. And if they think the price of Bitcoin will rise, they can open a long contract for 10 times leverage or more. Again, you pay 10%, 0.1 BTC, $776, plus the taker's fee. And you can profit if the price rises. If the price doesn't rise and say moves down in the opposite direction by 10%, your loss is still limited to your initial margin. There are also different types of trading processes as well that you can select after choosing the desired price and quantity. Some exchanges offer limit orders and stop order approaches to leverage trading. Stop orders are the exact opposite of limit orders, which means the price must end up lower for a stop sell order or climb higher for a stop buy order. So a market order is the fastest way to start trading as it will use the best prices in the books to initiate a trade. In other words, you're not sitting in front of your computer screen all day looking at the charts like day traders do. You're basically setting up your trade, whether it's a long or a short, high or low, and walking away. And once it hits those marks, it, it executes it automatically. Now, getting familiar with each type of trade will improve your margin trading skills immensely. In addition to limit, market and stop orders there's also a process called a stop limit which acts as a safety net and you can place a stop limit order by setting the stop limit price to a predetermined amount this means it will sell before the price goes lower than the specified price trajectory a method called the trailing stop order sets the stop price at a specified amount below the market stop price that's tethered to a trailing amount then there's also the fill or kill technique that represents an order to purchase or sell and is usually executed instantly. So in other words, let's say, for example, you've got yourself, I, I want to earn at least 2 to 3% today. Or I don't want to lose 2%. So you sell your sell order that if it falls, starts to go below 2%, it automatically sells so that you don't, you cut your losses for instance, instead of it going a 7% loss that day or a 10% loss, it sold when it was at a 2% loss and you cut your losses there. And that's for individuals that are not like holding for the long term. They're, they're doing micro trades, making quick profits and quick losses. Same thing with the buy, with the buy sell or buy order. You may say, um, or, or, or uh, it's the reverse. You want to sell your Bitcoins once it has gone up four percent now it might keep rising to six seven eight ten percent but you want to cut your sale short because you don't know it might it might drop quickly if you start thinking greedy but at least you got a profit don't be upset if you took a profit at five percent and the market kept climbing to eight percent and think man i should have let it go to eight percent i would have made more money don't think that way you know, you got to have your, your own little formula. And so if you know, man, trading, I might be able to pull off 10, 15% profit a week, 2 to 5% a day, even though you might make more, but you also could make less, then you've got a system in place. So that's the whole techniques when it comes to the trading, but I'm not finished here. It says risk and reward is greater. Unlike typical trades, there are a few more associated costs with leverage trading like paying interest on borrowed BTC because essentially you are borrowing liquidity from the exchange. Leverage trading is far riskier than traditional trades, but the reward can be much higher as well. The reason for this is because leverage allows you to pay a fraction of the price for a full price trade and allowing individuals to enter much larger trading positions. Much, many of the trading platforms listed above also offers, offer leverage options for a variety of other digital assets. The best thing to do is practice your leverage trades with only a small fraction of coin and some small leverage 
Some exchanges don't offer huge amounts of leverage anyway and limit exposure to only two to 10 times. After honing your margin trading skills, crypto winters like the past six months of 2018 can look more like opportunities than losses. So education is the key, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it for Crypto Talk tonight. In 30 minutes, I have a presentation for Cryptogenics. You can hop on that on kgxglobal.info. Learn about how to get positioned for cryptocurrency education. And more importantly, also learn how you can position yourself to purchase mining machines that is mining the green X coin. The next disruption in the big next major industry is power. And we are at the forefront, the beginning stages of that. So I'll leave you with that. I'll see you all in 30 minutes. KGSglobal.info. Bitcoin Brandon out. God bless. Bye-bye. Crypto Genex.